Hello everybody, uh, my name is Olivia Archer and I'm going to show you a little bit um, of the game that I've been working on. Uh, it's called Sfoxy. Uh, in Sfoxy you control this little dude and he rolls around and it's pretty easy. I'll show you the first level. Ooh, loading. That was the interface by the way and that was the start, but it's incomplete. This is the first level. Uh, to control him, you just have to touch the iPad where you want him to go, and he will go into in the direction of your finger. So, for example, I'm clicking here. That's the direction he's going. It's pretty agile. The farther away you touch, the faster he will uh, accelerate. Keep it nearby. He'll be very slow. Uh, ignore the little red ball. It's just there for testing purposes. Ooh, you, he'll follow you around. Uh, it's got the tail, and there's physical objects you can interact with. Uh, he actually has a little power. If he hits the wall, a wall or something hard enough, he will uh, make a shockwave. Like that, and he can... Well, shouldn't be that often, but it's still in alpha. So you can actually push things away. Oops, I can do it. There we go. Yeah, and he gets dizzy and red from that. So the objective of the game is to collect the red cubes that will open up the exit and exit the level uh, the yellow cubes are for bonus, if you collect all four you get the three stars if you don't fall off you have a timer so speed is important alright let's go for it go away the red ball alright let's go for it so yeah the particle effects will look better on the mobile they already do, they just look weird here for some reason Ooh. It's pretty easy, this is the first level, so it's just to get you to get used to the game and the control. We don't need to get everything. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so. Ooh, and then you get to the exit. Uh, the levels will be a bit prettier, I'm still uh, working on it. Uh, once you beat the levels, uh, if you restart, you get a new level, uh, not a new level, you get a new screen. Uh, it doesn't save on the emulator, so your high sc uh, the points you got before will get here, so if you want to get a better score each time. Yeah, and the interface is not final, I'm still working on that. Uh, and you have a race mode now, where you can try and beat the level as fast as possible. Uh, if you get the good scores, you get uh, the stars to unlock, so that's a little challenge. Now let's try it out. Ready? Yeah, the clock's kind of broken, but yeah, I'm going to fix that. The Doing the UI stuff in the UDK is not fun. It's actually the least fun thing to do because it's extremely tedious. And it's like drilling holes in your head. So I'll leave that for laughs, obviously. Ooh. Yeah, I could have done it better. I could have gotten to the top time, but it's cool. So it saves uh, the time, it compares it, and it allots it, so if you get the best time, you get 3 stars, if you get a better time, you get 2 stars, and if you get a good time, you get 1 star. Uh, yeah. It's all supposed to fall faster. But yeah, that's pretty much it, and there are quite a few levels for you to mess around with. And I'll show you a little bit on the back end. So. This is it in the editor. I'll show you some of the levels. This is the menu. Ooh, actually. Show all. There are quite a lot of levels. Uh, there are actually three missing from this list. So you should be occupied for quite some time. Alright, let's have a quick peek at some of them. Ooh. Yeah, there's some crazy ones, actually. Ooh, the loading screen. It's in 3D! Oh my gosh! Wow! Anyway, so let's increase our speed. So you kind of have a quick view. Yeah, it's kind of messy when they're all open at the same time. So you have a quick view of all the kind of levels you could be expecting. Some of them crazier than others. I tried going for a nice variety. I'm just going quickly so you can't memorize them or anything. Uh, so uh, so there's quite a bit of variety and some crazy ones. I'll stick to the the um, the first levels. Like this is the first level, for example. 
Alright, uh, that's it. Uh, I'm hoping to finish this very soon. Right now it's April 25th, so I hope to have it in beta by the end of this month, hopefully. And release sometime in May. I'm working as quickly as I can, but since I'm doing this alone, it's kind of hard. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this, and send me your feedback, yo. Alright, peace, have a good day and stuff.